Yeah, this habitat's really different from where we were on the Caribbean side. We're basically within stone's throw of the Panama border. <laughs> um, just looking for this viper species. Got a uh, one-headed tree snake, a little bit bigger than the one that was eating the Nole lizard. Pretty cool, pretty cool snake. Super long and slender. Just looking for a meal. Really cool habitat. It's super pretty, man. You gotta look at how iridescent it is. Just cruised this super pretty snail eater. It's got like peach banding on it. Wow, dude. That is awesome. Hurry it off the road. target they're tough and this isn't the best time of year for them apparently according to some of the locals but I mean I think it's doable just gotta gotta push it Cause a little bit <sighs> probably averaging like four or five hours of sleep a night for the last Four nights, five nights. How long have we been here? Uh, four. Four nights. And then hiking all day. Some driving, obviously, but it gets pretty tiring, these trips. Oh, baby. What do we have here, Seth? What'd you just find? Oh my, I just found in both wrecky super silly yards. Woo! It's incredible! Incredible, señor. Gracias, padres celestiales. Our trip just came a little bit. Ya lo ocupamos yendo aquel mae mañana. Wow, dude. It's moving a little bit. What do you think, man? I think. La. La decía Supra. Wow. I know it's not just no, it's as has visto oh siete my ocho. Gosh. Sí, la primera, la primera aquí. <laughs> Look at that. Pero es muy, está muy pequeñita, pero está preciosa. Sí. Saquen esas cámaras, más. Les den gusto, que para eso vinieron, más. Tan largo para esto vinieron, más. thousand year old burial ground for Panamanian indigenous people. They used to bury them in those holes, but since people have come and dug up the gold and jewels and stuff that was left with them, it's kind of jacked up, but not surprising. Encima, ponían el cuerpo, las pertenencias, y tapaban con estas piedras encima. ¿Cuántos cuerpos están aquí? Aquí pueden ver mil cuerpos. ¿Mil? Sí, eso es enorme. Wow. Thousand of these little graves. That's crazy. Yes. Wow. It's a good spot for jaguars, he said. Baby, that was cool, dude. I, 
<laughs> I almost did. Huge fallen tree, a bunch of overgrowth on it. This is a crazy cool rainforest. I can feel it bouncing, it's sketchy. It's awesome. Just flipped this log and found this snake right here. It's similar to the one we saw earlier. Well, ah. it's black, but it's got a yellow, yellow, yellow belly. Super cool. Wow. Niña, niña, se Sostenlo, por favor. Claro. Niña, se fota. See? That's cool. Bajo de esto. Cool snake. Get some shots and uh, let these guys wait till Seth and Devin get to see it and let her go right here. So this is our room where we stayed last night. And this morning when Seth was going to the car, walked up this path. He looks down to the left, and there's a coral snake sitting in that bush. And now they're photographing it. Really dark one. I don't know if it's about to shed or what, but that's awesome. Probably just foraging for some morning prey. Very cool. Venomous. Don't want to get bit by that. Just getting some. <laughs> Seth wants to get bit by that. Bros, leave me alone, man. In this case of early bird gets the worm. That's what Devin He's said. Word for word with. Literally said, really? early bird gets the worm. Up a little bit earlier than the rest of us. Got a shower. Got packed. Walked out of the car to put it away. Got the worm. <laughs> Old man wakes up. A early. giant tricolor banded venomous worm. Well, we're gonna let him go just down here in the garden and get on the road. Wow. 